So I've had this uh, Commodore 1702 monitor kicking around in the garage for a while and I wanted to use it more for my retro consoles, um, my only two, which is the Intellivision and the ColecoVision. But um, I had read that uh, some people think uh, you get a better picture uh, if you go uh, through the Chroma Luma uh, inputs on the back as opposed to going through the uh, component um, inputs on the front. So I've been wanting to try that. Um, and then I found out um, that uh, Chroma Luma is basically S-Video. Um, so I picked up an S-Video cable um, and I spliced it. And there's two wires, two sets of wires. And each wire has um, a hot wire and a ground wire. This goes to your sleeve and this goes to your tip of your RCA connector. Um, and uh, I got a little lazy. Uh, so I picked up an S-Video cable that was already wired for component. Um, and here's my finished results. Uh, and I, um, I'm happy with it. I like it. Um, I think uh, it does look a little clearer. It's not a huge difference. Some people you know, might not even uh, care. Uh, but it's such a simple little project that um, you, know, you should try it out and see if you like it. Um, so it took me you know, about a year to get to the project, but here I am doing it. Um, this is not a tutorial, it's just a look what I made uh, kind of video. Uh, you might glean some information from uh, you know, my, um, my uh, uh, process, but uh, don't expect a, a lesson in soldering. I can barely melt solder. Okay, so enjoy. I like to tin my wires before I start. It's optional, but it makes life a lot easier. So ground goes to sleeve, hot goes to tip, and uh, when you handle the plug, make sure you uh, let it cool off because they get really hot and you can burn yourself. Heat shrinking is completely optional. I just like to do it to uh, clean up the, uh, my work. Just make sure you need leave enough slack so the plugs reach the input jacks. Okay guys, so um, I'm gonna try this out. This is, uh, you're not gonna be able to see the quality difference, but there is a big difference. Um, it's a lot smoother, it just looks a lot nicer. Uh, this is actually a composite right now through the front, um, right here. Uh, I'm just gonna play a little bit and show you what it looks like. You're not really gonna be able to tell from the video, but I can, so screw you. There we go. <laughs> Forgot about that. All right. I mean, it still looks good. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm happy with uh, this composite on this monitor. But I was just very curious what the quality of the chroma input would be like. And I got to say that I'm quite pleased with it. It's not like mind blowing, you know. Wow, it's amazing, but it's pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. So let me switch it now to um, the S video. So I'm gonna disconnect this guy, put the S video on, and there's a switch back here that um, sets it to front or rear. So here's the S video. It looks a lot cleaner. Uh, less glitchy. Um, Sound-wise, it's the same because uh, this uh, mod doesn't really do anything to the sound or enhances the sound in any way. Might as well clear this board since I'm here, but that's it. I wish you could see exactly what it looked like, but you know, this is good enough if you're uh, curious about doing this project. It's not that hard, so there you go. Bam. Alright, thanks guys.